Hmm, way up. Your career starts here. Hmm, cool job board. Awesome job board. Hmm, for college students. All right, all right. So let me look at some alternatives to way up. Hmm. So way up competitors revenue number of employees. Hmm. Let me let me see this college. Let me look at the num. Uh, let me look at competitor. What the this pop up? Shoot. Have you ever been in a situation where you've got annoying pop ups from websites and where they give you one option, which is to sign up and to learn more. And then what you have to do is to agree to their terms, type in your email. And then sign up. Now think about it. If every single website you visit requires you to create an account with them, how many accounts would you be creating? How many accounts would you be keeping track of? A lot, right? Well, in this video, I'll teach you how to bypass that and to get rid of these pop ups permanently. So the first step is to make sure you have installed. The, the plugin titled user JavaScript and CSS and you can get this from the Chrome Web Store so after you've installed the user JavaScript and CSS extension you should see it over here in your browser so what can we do about this pop-up well we can do a right click and navigate to inspect so inside of inspect element I want to look at where where this pop-up is coming from so I see over here that there's a div over here called owl modal wrapper and this is referring to the inside uh, to the pop-up so let me try deleting some stuff okay so I'd assume that if I delete if I delete this delete well it seems that I delete the pop-up but there's still the background overlay that that dark grayish color how about if I delete the overlay as well Delete. Mm, now it's a white-ish overlay. Mm, so I have to delete this as well. So delete. Mm, that's good. I still have this extra div element. Probably this div contained the pop-up. So I delete that as well. Mm, so this looks about good. This is how the website should look. Okay. So now let's undo all those things. So I'm going to press Control Z or Command Z and get the pop-up back. Mm. So basically. What we need to do in order to eliminate this pop-up is to select this div, which basically includes all of the pop-up, and basically take this div and delete it. That's what we have to do. We have to target this specific div right here. So how do we target it? Well, let's do this. First, I'm going to target the div with the class owl modal wrapper and then I'm gonna get the parent of that class this one so let's do so so over here um, I'm gonna open up the console right here and this is where I'm gonna type my code so document document dot get element by class name and I will get the class name owler modal wrapper right here this one and why am I doing this well I want to get this div right here this div okay so I have this owl modal wrapper and what do I want to do next if I enter that in you'll notice that this is a HTML collection with a length of one it only co contains one element which is this particular div so I'll do the same thing but I'll get the first element so now that I have the first element here this is what it looks like. Oh, that's cool. So this selects the entire inner div. See this div with the owl modal wrapper? Well, it's referring to this div right here in gray. But I want to get the parent of that one. So the way I get the parent is I do the same thing and I do uh, par uh, dot parent parent element right here. So when I type this, uh, the parent element, now it's referring to the entire div, the, in, the, the outer div that contains this inner div of the owl modal wrapper. Mm. So effectively, this line of code right here, what it does is it selects this div right here, this div, the one that we want to delete. So to delete it, 
what you want to do is type out the same bit of code by hitting the up arrow and then you want to type remove like this semicolon click enter and once I click enter you'll notice that the div disappeared so this is the code we want okay so I'm gonna copy that bit of code now earlier I did not tell you what this user JavaScript and CSS does so what this does uh, th what this Chrome extension allows you to do is it allows you to inject JavaScript and CSS into the website. So in this case, what I'm dealing with right now is JavaScript code. So I want to inject JavaScript code whenever I visit this particular website, owler.com. So let's do that. So I click on the, the Chrome extension, click add new. And inside of add new, I'm going to paste the bit of code we got earlier that takes this uh, that takes the div and removes it then I will click save so now whenever the website loads you'll expect the Aller Moldo wrapper in aka the dumb pop-up to disappear so now when you reload the website okay here's a trick though if you reload the website you will actually notice that the pop-up still appears and the reason why the pop-up over here still appears is because this pop-up is actually generated by JavaScript it's generated by this web page JavaScript and I'm injecting this JavaScript into the web page so this is probably what's happening and I'll show you what I mean so opening up a, up a te test uh, test editor this is the timeline okay the timeline of events on the owler.com page okay so this is what happens step one what happens first is you navigate to the website so you arrive at the website okay that's what happens first step two the the page JavaScript is gonna run it's gonna launch pop-up after two seconds so um, pop pop up launch is after two seconds this is what's gonna happen and so what happens is this is what the website does that I've noticed so step one is you arrived at the website step two is the website is done loading and then step three is the pop-up launches after two seconds so when we do the JavaScript injection right here, what that effectively does is it says that before the website is done loading, um, it's going to do the JavaScript injection. So it'll probably look something like this. So, no, so we have a 2.1, 2.1 website loads as usual. And then over here, 2.2 is we then run the JavaScript that then run the JavaScript we injected so what's happening is we are running the JavaScript that we inject before the pop-up launches so effectively what's going on on this page is that first we're telling the page to delete the pop-up before the pop-up even appears and as you can tell Telling the page to delete the pop-up before the pop-up even appears is useless. It's futile. So what we want to do is we want to inject our JavaScript, but tell it to wait, wait a bit. Okay, so what this does, telling our JavaScript to wait a bit, is that we want to wait until the pop-up pops up. Then, after waiting a bit, then we want our JavaScript to come around here and then delete the pop-up. So right now what's happening is our JavaScript is delete is trying to delete the pop-up way too early, so we need our JavaScript to wait. So how do we get our JavaScript to wait? Well, we search up JavaScript script delay. Not delay, not uh D typed it wrong. Delay timer. Delay timer. So um, that's right. Over here, this is the code for the JavaScript delay. So I want to copy this. 
and I'll show you what I mean, okay? So this bit of code right here that we copied, it says set the timeout. That means this is code name for wait a few seconds, okay? Wait a while. That's what it, what, what it means. And here's a function. Uh, inside of the function, um, this is where you add your code. Add your code here. And then here is the amount of time we want to wait in milliseconds. So in this case, I'm going to wait 2,000 milliseconds, also known as two seconds. And what we want to do here after the two seconds is to run this bit of code that deletes that pop-up. So I'm just going to copy that, go over here, and paste it. All right, navigate up, and then save on the top right-hand corner. So after saving, now when I run this page again, it'll pop up and then it'll disappear. So let's do it. Refresh. So the pop-up should pop up. So it pops up and then it should delete itself. It still hasn't deleted itself. Hmm, something strange, right? So what you want to do over here is inside of the options, you want a programmatic injection, injection of JavaScript. So I forgot to do that earlier. So let's do that again. And this time, hopefully, it'll work. Reload. See what happens. So it should pop up and then it should delete itself. And that's indeed what happened. So it worked. And so essentially, you can use this JavaScript injection technique for any website in particular that has a pop-up that, that you wouldn't want. And that's how you delete, uh, that's how you delete pop-ups from websites.